Wait, are you playing more than one note at a time? Yes. But how do you know which notes go together? Do you know what chords are? The thing I use to charge my phone? Not quite. This one has an H in it. So, let's break this oh, down. Oh, wait. We have to do the intro first. I'm Tabitha from the George Memorial Library, and in this video, we'll learn about constructing simple major and minor chords. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and check out our channel and calendar for more. Not sure who you're talking to, but to explain chords, we'll start with scales. Would you play the C major scale for us? Now play the D major scale. Both scales follow the same pattern. This is actually easier to see on a piano. From one white key to the next is one step. From one black key to the next is also one step, but they're offset. So a white key to a black key, or vice versa, is a half step, usually. There is no black key between E and F, or B and C, because these notes break the pattern and are only a half step apart. So as I play the C major scale, notice the pattern of whole and half steps. We'll start with our root, C, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, and we're back to our tonic C. Same thing for our D major scale. We start with our root, the D, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, and we're back to our tonic D. To play any major scale, you start on that note and follow the same pattern. When do we get to the part where we play more than one note at a time? Right about now. To form the C major chord, we'll play the first, third, and fifth notes on the C major scale. That's C, E, G. And the same for the D major chord. We'll play the first, third, and fifth notes on the D major scale. D, F sharp, and A. We can also break it down by steps. We start with the root. Then we count up four half steps, then three more half steps. Same for the D major, root, four half steps, three half steps. You keep saying major scales and major chords. Does that mean there are other types? Several. Then the opposite of major would be minor. When it comes to minor scales, there are actually three different types, natural, harmonic, and melodic. Let's look at the pattern for a natural minor scale. Like before, we'll start with C as our root. Then whole step to D, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. To form the C minor chord, we'll follow the same pattern as before. First, third, and fifth notes of this scale. Hear how it sounds different from the C major? <laughs> it's creepier. If you prefer to count it out in steps, this time it's the root, then count up three half steps, then four half steps. Oh, I get it. So chords are the first, third, and fifth notes of their name yes. scales. These simple chords anyway. Want to get back to our song now? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 